Welcome back everyone and for this video I will be doing a small review of a smart pocket thermal printer that I was kindly sent by HPRT company. They reached out via email to ask me if I would be willing to review this product in exchange for the product itself. I've always been interested in these types of printers and I've seen them around. Um, AliExpress has a lot of really cute ones that I've seen people use for labeling and things like that. Um, I just never went ahead and bought one. Full disclosure, I actually have already opened it um and i'll i'll put in clips of like my first impressions printing some things because i printed out a couple couple things upon my first try um but the review was very haphazard because i had just come back from dragon con and my mind was not all the way there so i wanted to refilm it a little more organized so this is what you get um it's very compact this is intended as like a travel printer from what i understand um and it comes with about uh, two inch wide paper. So here's the little quick start guide that you get. You really don't need anything else um, when you use this and you really don't get anything else. You don't even get a charging cable, uh, but it does use C-type. So if you're an Android user, you probably have that cable coming um, lying around and you can use it to charge. I'm not sure about iPhone. I know they have C-Type, but I think it's smaller, but it does use the standard C-Type that Android uses. So uh, there's that. It has a power button on the side, as well as this lever that when you press down, pops open the refill tray for the ribbon. So again, this is a thermal printer. That means you're not using any ink. It uses the laser to actually print the image onto the paper. Um, so the paper is really all that you need and that makes it a great portable little printer. You can see it has teeth so that you can rip the paper out. So it works really like a standard label maker, except it's much more compact. I definitely think you could use this to take with you traveling if you're someone who journals a lot if you're someone who's doing some business and needs to uh, label trays or compartments or things like that in your bins you see the branding idprt on the front and when it comes to loading the paper uh one thing one criticism that i do have for this is that the quick start guide does not really give the best description as to how you're supposed to get this thing to work um, but i'll talk about that in a bit uh, but yes, you just put in the paper as such, and you really don't have to load it into anything. At first I had, I thought you had to load it into this bar, but that's not the case. You just pop it in there, make sure it's facing the correct way, and close the compartment. And then you can turn on the power button, hold it for two seconds. The light will turn on. If it needs charging, it may blink. Um... But right now I know for a fact this thing is charged because I just used it. This little printer is about three and a half inches tall and wide um, and then one and a half inches thick and then the paper it uses is slightly over two inches wide and then I believe from what the instructions said you can print at most a 10 inch long like print. So like I said, this was my first time using one of these. Uh, this one does require that you download their app, which is called Here Print. And this is what it looks like. It's very self-explanatory. Um, print pictures will take you to two options where you can splice images together. You can print multiple pictures at once and then image. Either option will take you to your personal gallery on your phone so that you can select some of your own pictures to print. The sketchbook will allow you to um, draw your own things, obviously, and it gives you the option for vertical and horizontal, which I think is really cool. I like that option. And then at the bottom, you have some buttons for templates. So it, here is one template that I printed. It's very solid. I was very surprised by how solid the image looked, um, but that makes sense. The company uh, obviously knows how best things will look on their printer so they've created some templates that will look great when printed and there's a lot of options here honestly to-do lists calendars class schedules business cards gift cards so overall i thought that was a really cool feature that they included 
I like the the fact that it's already there so you don't have to worry about it because obviously with this being a portable one you're not going to have all of the resources that you would need to create your own specialized uh, labels. There is a link to their web page. Um, I'm not sure what the scanning option is. I haven't really used that or the other stuff. Banners will let you create banners. Files will let you upload files that you may need to print, and then I'm not sure what DraftBlock does. Maybe just um, if you were creating an image, that's where it saves them as drafts if you're not finished. At the top it also lets you know how um, high the battery is, how charged it is. If you go into settings there's also an option for a firmware update if it's needed. Uh, I'm not sure what the standby time is, 10 minutes. I'm assuming that's the amount of time it will stay on until it turns off on its own. Um, but yeah, overall, again, very simple and self-explanatory. And I will, again, I will include some clips of me using it for the first time. I was having a lot of fun printing memes. Whoa, that is crisp. <laughs> that's so cool. That's really cool, I have to say. <laughs> Why did that print so well? <laughs> too good, too good. Okay, now I'm having fun. Excellent. <laughs> I would say the only downside to this is that it's not in color because some of these images definitely would be better in color. Um, I love this thing. I also think it's really cool that it goes almost towards the very edge of the paper, so you're not really wasting too much. I would say the most paper waste, um, that you're going to be getting is printing multiple images, because if they're not together, then they're obviously going to have a gap in between. I had to troubleshoot a little bit, um, so obviously last night when I or had already filmed this, I was using it, um, and so when I opened it to show you all how to put in the paper, I had moved it a little lower, so it wasn't printing even though it said printed. Um, so if that happens, just make sure to lift the paper so that it's a little bit outside of this area. That way it recognizes that there's paper in there. As soon as I did that and closed the lid or the cover, um, it immediately started printing all the little things I was trying to print. So here's the meme that I printed. I think it's really funny. It's, it's from Golden Kamui, I believe. So yeah, here's all my spoils from last night when I first filmed this. I have some templates that they included. Again, they come out really good. I lost it when I <laughs> printed this out. <laughs> it's still funny. Um, I have Crunk. And then a Twitter meme. So yeah, overall, I'm really happy with this. I think it's so fun to mess with. You can definitely use this for useful reasons, obviously labels to put on bins and organize. Um, journaling is one big use that I, I can see being used, especially since they include these templates. And then just to have fun. It is black and white and obviously the quality is not going to be the highest, but I did print a photo that I'm not going to show because it has my face in it. Um, but I printed a photo yesterday and it came out pretty well. Obviously pixelated because this is a mini printer and like I said, the quality is not going to be the highest. Um, but, you know, you can tell what the image is. So being able to print out little photos like this is cool, even if it is black and white. So there's just a lot of fun uses for something like this. Now, obviously, it very much depends on the person whether or not this is going to be a product they would find worth it. I received this for free, so I'm pretty biased, but it is $29.99 on Amazon. I think, and this could just be because um, it's quite small. That seems kind of high to me, but again, I'm, I've never used one of these things before. I've never bought one for myself, so I'm not sure if maybe that is a good price because it's you're obviously being able to print a lot of cool stuff. They have an app ready for you. You don't need extra software and it works pretty much instantly. Um, to me, if I was looking for something like this, I would definitely think it's worth it. It does its job. I was really not having too many issues. You can buy the paper separately as well in bundles on Amazon. Um, so it's very convenient to purchase this product. The only criticism I would have is the fact that one, it obviously does not include a charging cable, which really sucks, but that's something I can get over because I do have a collection of them at this point. The only other criticism I would have is that their quick start guide does not really 
have a lot of information. I really had to follow the video provided on their Amazon uh, product page for this product to get an idea of how I was supposed to load the paper because outside of these little drawings, it doesn't really specify. It doesn't say that you have to load it in the bar, which was my first assumption. Um, it does tell you the direction the paper's supposed to be in, but it doesn't really say, you know, you just load it in and that's it. There, the, but there is a bar there, and if you are someone who's used things like manual sticker paper makers, which I have used in the past, the kind that you just load the paper and manually roll it and it'll combine two rolls, one paper and one adhesive film to create a sticker. Um, my first thought was to load it into the little bar. So the fact that there wasn't really indication of that left me a little confused. And obviously it didn't print because I wasn't loading the paper, right? So I was just, I was very grateful for the video on the Amazon product page. Let's just say that. Also on the LED indicator instructions or definitions, it says flashes slowly and flashes quickly. It doesn't really mention what constitutes slowly or quickly. I have not really noticed a difference when this thing does flash. So I'm, I'm honestly not sure what that would look like until it happens. Uh, but I would have liked some indicator of, you know, flashing quickly means like three times a second or something. I don't know. But other than that, it's very self-explanatory, especially if you've used one of these before. It's just very convenient and a good size for travel, I think. I kind of wish I had tested this out while I was at Dragon Con because I, I did take it with me intending to make the review and I just never did. But that's all I really had to say. Thank you so much to the company for sending this to me to review. Obviously, I am biased, but I will leave a link to the product with a discount code in the description for anyone interested in purchasing. This is easily purchase purchasable through Amazon as well as the refill paper. I remember these gaining a lot of popularity when um, companies were making really cute ones uh, that I would see being sold on AliExpress, but I could never confirm their quality, so I never bought one. So I'm really happy to finally have one. I'm definitely going to use this for label making and then possibly journaling. Um, and I definitely see it being very useful if you have a business and you're wanting to print out things really quickly. Say if you have an artist alley table, someone wants a receipt and maybe the internet's not working. Or if you just wanted to print out little giveaway stickers or even labels to put on your merchandise um, for branding purposes. This is I think a very useful tool to do that very quickly. Once again, thank you so much to this company for sending this item for me to review for free. Check the description for a link to the product as well as a discount code. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see y'all in my next video.